Welcome to our series 19 Hospitality Questions on COVID-19. Today's question comes to us from a traveller basically, a leisure traveller who asks a question that may seem silly but is not at all silly in fact. I think it's a very valid question here. He asks, when I go down south to a beach hotel, is it okay for me to get into the pool in this post-COVID-19 era or should I just head for the ocean instead? How would you respond to that query? Okay, uh, living in a masked and socially distant world and particularly when we have all stayed indoors for a prolonged length of time, the dip in an ocean or taking a swim in a hotel pool is indeed tempting. And I guess if you abide by the rules and stick to certain parameters, particularly to stay away from crowds, then the risk is very low. It's not so much as the people, I think it's to do, sorry, it's not so much as to do with the water that one needs to worry about. It's about people invading your distancing space. Um, the person who is wading in the shallow end too close to you or somebody who is standing nearby in the locker room. Uh, COVID-19 is airborne. And that is why most or all of us have been urged to wear a mask when in public. So, understandably, I mean, wearing a mask when swimming is near impossible. But wear that mask before you get into the water and wear it immediately after you get out of the water. Mm -hmm. If someone is coughing or spitting water close to you, move away because that can be risky. Generally, Avoid a group of people who are shouting or staying in a crowd mm. and ideally you should choose a spot whether it's in the ocean or in the pool that has no crowds. Keep that distance, six feet, maybe even eight feet is still better. There is this other question whether salt water or chlorinated water which is safer. Mm. I mean, consider this, chlorine is antiviral, it kills the virus, definitely. And if a pool is well maintained, their chlorinating processes are very robust and they maintain the pH level of the water properly, then the coronavirus is killed rapidly. On the other hand, the ocean is so huge that a few airborne droplets will make hardly a difference. The vastness of the ocean is so much and the dilution factor is so huge, it won't make an impact. What is also good for the ocean is that you have these high winds in certain places and these winds help because not only do they take the droplets far away quickly, but they also help dilute it in the air. So it's a touch and go situation. Both are safe so long as again you stick to the rules. Uh, the fact is that some people also believe that sunshine can also help. Uh, yes, sunshine helps but not, not as much as ultra high intensity ultraviolet light which mm -hmm. hospitals use to sanitize their rooms. Solar UV light is relatively weak. It hardly is nowhere near the strength of a high intensity UV light. Uh, it's all to do something to do with similar to the uh, science of evaporation mm -hmm. where in bright sunshine moisture will evaporate faster but in a damp hidden dark place it evaporates much slower. So sunshine has that effect on the virus. Uh, then you need to also ask hotels which you patronize and if you do go by to the poolside what their policies are. Uh, 
question them on how often do they chlorinate the pool what are their disinfecting procedures uh, wipe down of potentially risky surfaces do they do that often so you got to ask them these questions uh, good hotels will be proactive they'll probably put up notices explaining all these steps that they have taken from even the preparation and delivery of food to the pool site to how they will accept payment so that it's contactless how they deliver the towels and also how they wipe down the sunbeds mm -hmm. right uh, for whatever it is remember two things if you're by the pool wear the mask take it out only when you swim and eat make sure that your sunbed is at least 6 feet away from the next person's sunbed and if you do all that i think getting wet or you can get wet safely if i may sum it up thank you thank you very much for it so there you have it you can swim in the pool or the ocean if you like but if you're choosing the pool option check out those few tips that were given before that so have you got a question for us if you do write in to us reach us at hospitalitysrilanka.com is the email address don't forget to subscribe to this video and the subscribe button below it and follow us across facebook linkedin and instagram as well thank you and have a good day